<clears throat> Shabbat Shalom, Hebrews and Shebrews. What up with y'all? It's your brother Mikael Ben Yisrael, aka Jeshurun. Just gonna slide in on y'all for a hot second on this beautiful Shabbat. About to get ready to head to class. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, cause all praise to the Elohim, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Landed his son, Amashiach, Jesus the Christ. Let me turn this down. That's my cut. Israel, Israel, Israel. Hey, your box is out, boy. You, my man, your box is out, man. <laughs> Them my brothers, man. Y'all done got me hooked on this song, Joe. It's real, it's real. It's real. Uh, so we know my people rather we sit with pain and just deleted the fact to be black. We in the midst of greatness, through the hell and oppression, we stand and test the times. Still feeling nobody is black. It's a long drive. The shot of Christ, we turn for a second time. Game's over for your heathens, my spiritual powers like the train's over. Ready for war like Samson to the y'all go With nothing more than a jawbone But that's future prophecy Obviously to be in this commission of love Follow these laws and raise each other with kisses and hugs Shalom, watch and shalom In this modern day road Filled with degradation, children and fatherless homes But we the salt of the earth These nations imitate us We innovate us, shout out to Judah and Venezuela On the way to Korea We the flavor, they see us It's crazy, you know, although they hate us They still wanna be us Israel, not to confuse us with Ishmael, cause we the promise, they worship Muhammad all the while, thugging, smuggling across the border, that bitch cow, calling on your out with your bitch cow, you ain't a cow. Israel, Israel, Israel. too long like i said i was just sliding in on y'all uh just the sabbath about to get ready to head to class I'm a little bit late waiting on my ride so I, back so i can't wait man you get another vino man a, a vessel you know you can't really trip when you you know you gotta have somebody else pick you up so i thank the most high for that plus this is my brother joe he he, he loyal to the T. We just know if he say 1130, that really mean like 1245. So you just have to know that. 
<laughs> those who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. That's part of the, you know, the crew or whatever. You know what I'm saying? My beloved, one of my battle axes, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I get there. You know, we going to get there. So everything happened in his own time. But yeah, I just want to say, uh, you know, I hope everybody in good health. You know what I'm saying? Grace and peace to you and all that. And, uh, you know, you've been checking out a lot of the stuff going on. You know, it's all type of stuff going on. But in times like this, I just want Israel to be aware, man, to uh, try to keep focus on what's really going on, you know. Like, you know, unfortunately, we had the Kobe Bryant incident. And, you know, I'm not even going to get into the whole stuff our people be doing, you know. We got a spooky-ass people, y'all. Excuse my, well, that's in the Bible, so that ain't really, you know. But we got a spooky people. We got a real spooky people, man. And, and let me just say this, man. I know that there's dark powers and unseen forces. You know, even the most high tell us that. That's in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? We're spiritual people, so we understand that, right? But some Israelites are flat-out paranoid. I mean, that brother Kobe Bryant wasn't dead 45 minutes. I mean, the coroner wasn't even, you know, on the scene yet. And they already talking about, you know what I'm saying, uh, the conspiracies, man. Like, what tripped me out, though, is that, oh, who is this pulling on my driveway? Oh, okay. I, I think okay. I don't know who that is. See, that's why I love living in, I live on the dead end block of cul -cul de sac. You know, it's woods and stuff all right here. So you just ain't gonna be riding past my house like that. But look, right? Uh, yeah, man, the man body wasn't even cold yet. And they got the conspiracy, and they got them down packed. Like they really know this, like they was down. You know what I'm saying? And it's a shame, man, because at the end of the day, I say, man, even if the most high, you know, and he has put knowledge on certain people that see spiritual things, you know, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't no good to hide that knowledge and not know how to apply it. Like, that was bad timing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that man got a wife and kids and family members and y'all on there talking spooky as hell. You know what I'm saying? I seen one cat, now this overdid it. See, I, I, I've been in this, you know, the Lord had me, not, you know, somewhat conscious for quite a quite a while, so I don't let stuff like rattle me. No more. I, especially when it comes to Israelites, I just ignore them when some stuff happens sometimes. But, because you would let them get, you know, you would let your own get, get up under your skin. Like, we drove Moses crazy to the point where that man couldn't even make it into the kingdom. And he was like the meekest, most loyal like, he was our, you know, first savior in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? We drove that man, like, you know what I'm saying? Till he couldn't take it no more. He, he snapped out. You know, so if we could make Moses snap out, Joe, and he was a straight nationalist. He was like, he's the first real revolutionary nationalist. You know what I'm saying? He he was literally would die for Israel, you know, like the Mashiach did, which is, you know, Deuteronomy 18, 18. But... You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so I know they'll drive me crazy, you know. But I saw one man when Kobe died, man. I almost vomited, man. I mean, this one was so outrageous. I think, did I screenshot it? I think I put it in the chat with my brothers, man. But this cat said, since Kobe is the black, black mamba and China got the coronaro have you say a virus from eating a snake now i thought it was a bat but apparently he he said it was a snake he said the virus started in china by eating a snake and since kobe was the black mamba i don't even know how he tied all this together kobe was the black mamba and that night was the grammys that somehow they did uh, they had to do a black magic sacrifice and take down his plan using black magic. I'm like, what? So they said they threw a curse, some black magic, on the helicopter and made it come down and crash. 
because he the black mamba and Chinese people was eating snakes in China, which led to the coronary virus, or however you say it, which been around for a long time, uh, 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 supposedly. You know, y'all know I had a, that led to the grant to avoid the Grammys that night. Oh, I forgot this point. After LeBron James passed the torch to Kobe Bryant. Like it was so, it was so chaotic. I didn't even, and I tried to entertain and I'm looking, I'm like, I don't, what the hell one got to do with the other? Like his conspiracy didn't even have no connections, right? So that was just like, if you're going to be spooky, at least make it make sense. Like I see people throwing up numerology and stuff. That, that'd be more, you know, that make more sense because you could basically hook numbers up with anything. You know, especially if you understand like the Hebrew language and stuff like that. All of it got numeric value to it and stuff. So, yeah, man. So that was tripped out. Yeah, and I had posted on, I don't know if y'all seen it. I shared from one of y'all, I'm with one of the brothers and sisters uh, a few days ago. I had shared the uh, that post with the uh, Lysol and it got the virus written on the back. Old cans of Lysol. Lysol we've been having for 20, 30, 40 years. That same virus is on the back. I, I have posted it somewhere. I think it's in my walls of Jericho. It's in our walls of Jericho group. You will see it. Uh, and the guy is circled on there on the back. That's one of the viruses that is supposed to help kill. So that thing been around. Now, that probably wasn't a pandemic like, you know, like it is right now. But when you see stuff like that, it's like, come on, they digging in their old bag of tricks. Like they knew when they old one, because they know we don't pay attention to stuff that's right in front of us. So with that being said, you know, uh, you see the title of their Brexit. Now, with all this going on, you had Brexit just happen yesterday. It was uh, over officially yesterday. So Great Britain uh, from the, U the UK has officially left um, what we know prophetically as the 10 toes spoken of in Daniel the second chapter. Uh, the 10 toes or the, e uh, the uh, EEC, the European Economic Community, uh, European Union, whatever you want to call them. Uh, if you know anything about the uh, this this part of the European Union, it 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 has actually like I think it's thirty nations, twenty seven, twenty five nations, or something like that. But there's a top ten on the council, and those top ten nations are prophetic. Those are the top ten nations that go all the way back that Daniel, the prophet Daniel, spoke about in the second chapter. See, if you want to get on something with the spiritual eye, let it be something like this, something that actually. Uh, has an impact. Something that's actually like going to be a, a game changer for the entire world, for salvation, for the nation of Israel, for us, for the lost, the scattered, for the entire planet, for every nation on earth. These things that's valuable and knowing, you know, instead of being spooked out about, you know, uh, you know, it's so much stuff. Israel's spooky as hell, man. Like, it's so much stuff, Joe, that they, they, they that becomes as much as a distraction as the stuff that they put on TV. Just, just watch some of these posts. Like real talk. Then you got the reptilian people running around and the and the uh, you know, look how they blink and the eye flick this way and flick that way. And you know, I'm like, okay, I, right, I, right. but at the same time, you know, you got Gog and Magog. Now, this did here go to the knowledge, the wisdom that actually has an impact. You got Gog, Magog, you know, Russia. You got ancient Persia, Russia, linking back up, where well, they never really unlinked, which is Iran. So you got Iran. You see what I'm saying? You see what's going on with Iran, right? Iran, Russia been shaking the show, shaking the score. You know, they've been shaking the score. We know why. It's prophetic. They always been connected together. This the type of stuff you need to be knowing and looking at. I'm not saying it's not a bonus to know some other stuff. But some of that stuff just really is just part of the distraction. It really ain't did nobody no good. You know what I'm saying? You just wind up being a creep. Don't nobody want to hang around you. But, yeah, so you got that going on. And then this Brexit thing, man, you know, I got to give a shout out to my elder brother, Bowie. You know, you know, people, a lot of, you know, I see Israel, you know, got stuff to say. They gonna have stuff to say about every. If you become a teacher, elder in Israel, somebody gonna always say something or whatever. People gonna always murmur about stuff, and people, some people might have legit gripes about certain things too. But what you can't take away from is this book that Brother Elder Bowie wrote, 
1990, I believe it was. That's what the copyrights say. I could be wrong. But everybody, you know, everybody in the Hebrew Israelite community, especially like coming out of the Chicago uh, fractions and stuff like that, the Chicago saying Hebrews, uh, that everybody got this book. I should have it. The Four Winds of Heaven. This is a book Brother Bowie wrote in 1990, right? And the thing about it, I got to say it, you know, you see a lot of stuff go on in communities, even in the Hebrew Israelite community. Shia, I know you got it, bro. You a vet. You've been around a long time. You, 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 you ain't no rookie to this. You know about this on both sides, Chicago and the New York one West scene. So yeah, I expect you to have it. But the, the one thing, man, you can't deny, whether you got a difference in doctrine and all that, you read that book, Joe. And not to mention, you could just pull up any video. Uh, our elder brother Bowie and the elders been saying for the last 25 years that Britain was going to drop out. They've been saying Britain was going to drop out. Britain had to drop out. You know what I'm saying? Because for one, they're Protestant anyway, the rest of them Catholic. So, but I don't know the exact main reason they always said they had to drop out. I knew that was one. I know you got it too, Dre. What I wish you see for Shalom. But yeah. They've been saying, I mean, you can go pull up uh, any Sabbath, you know, Sabbath blessing, just random Sabbath blessing. Yeah. They always were saying, you know, Britain got to drop out. They were saying it's 25 years ago. They just started the, the Brexit, which is Britain exit, I believe. Um, they just started that process, what, two years ago? I remember when it first started. When it first started, we was like, wow. You know, Bowie did his the lesson. He was like, yeah, man, you know, we've been, been, been telling y'all, been saying it for 25 years. And so, um, yeah, it's happened. So they dropped out yesterday. So somebody got to fill that slot in, one of them out of that 27, 30, however many countries it is, they got to fill up. Because it got to be 10 toes. So it's going to be 10 toes. So, you know, uh, when you know these things about prophecy, they never fail. You know, some, you know, we even used to debate about it. This before it happened. <laughs> We used to debate about, like, man, if Britain drop out, then who going to replace them? Or is it a chance that Britain would probably even convert to Catholicism under the mother church? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's hooked up with the whole Vatican, Mystery Babylon, all that type of thing. You know, the, uh, you know, the whore that sits on, on seven hills. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's the real capital of Babylon. You know, the last time I checked, America ain't got no seven hills. Um, directly and it ain't a city america is a whole continent but that's another subject uh me and one of my brothers gonna have a, a discussion about that probably pretty soon but uh yeah man um and so these are things we need to know these are things we need to know israel all the other distractions really ain't on no that one more other thing man because like i say i hope my ride i think my ride about to be pulling up a little bit uh man i don't know if y'all seen that article i put and um and the Walls of Jericho group, well, they had the brother handcuffed. I don't know what state he was in, but the brother was handcuffed, and the police shot him dead in the police car. Now, I mean, they have been gunning us down, but they didn't got to the point where they're going to straight handcuff you, sit you in the car. Now, I don't know all the details, but I played the clip of the news, because uh, when I seen it, it was live. But you know how YouTube is. I didn't really catch to see what state it was in, right? And I'm wondering why it ain't on every channel. You know, I had a sister get on that comment, like, why this not on every channel? You know why? Because it's a straight execution. They had the man handcuffed, put in the police car, and shot him seven times in the police car. Now, you know, when it gets to that point, Joe, they just don't care. And so these are some of the things I'm going to be talking about when I come back. All that other, you know, that other stuff there. I'm going to let Israel play and drive himself crazy with all the goofiness. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I can be high fun and debate and we can talk about stuff. But it's time, man, for the, you know, us to get the priesthood on, man. Which, of course, you got to be 30 years old. That's another thing. I'm about to, we about to start talking about all this, you know. If Jesus didn't establish his ministry to 30 years old, how you think you're going to establish yours before he did? Yeah, yeah, he answered questions at 12, you know, a five-year-old could ask questions, but he had so much knowledge, he was asking questions and um, answering questions. He didn't set up no congregation and hire no camp, 
You know why? Because he knew the law. He couldn't break the law. And all you got to do is go to the number. I'm going to leave that alone because I don't pull out all my guns. But it's a lot of stuff that gets straightened out around these parts. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man, so uh, 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 what was I saying, y'all? Uh, what was the last thing I was saying before I drifted off into the ministry? I don't even know how that came up. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got cats around here with cats that's 18 years old. <laughs> Straight up. They done watched a, a thousand hours of YouTube, and now they're an elder running around here talking about they got a camp. Man, stop playing. But, uh. Yeah, so, but I forget what the reason I said that for. Oh, it's something, oh, I guess I'm just trying to give y'all kind of an upcoming thing about what we uh, about to be dealing with, man, on, on Bruise in the Hood and as far as Walls of Jericho. Uh, we finna start dealing with the meat, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get, I gotta get the house in order. Because y'all know what it's saying, man. Judgment starts at the house of God. So Israel is the first ones he coming to holler at, Joe. Israel the first one to holler. What up, Jeremiah Jonah? Shabbat Shalom, Sister Hadessa. What up, Hart? <laughs> That's my girl, Hart. She too funny. You know what I'm saying? Shabbat Shalom, Jeremiah. Oh, man. Yama Yahoo Yehuda, as they used to say it back in the old days. Yeah, man. So, okay, yeah. We, so, we got that coming up. So, we're going to be discussing some of those type of things. I know it's something else I want to say. But I just drifted off. Yeah, y'all. Y'all know y'all can kind of see when I get a certain way. It's been... It's been, you know, people been parking little shots. I, I'm at a point now where I kind of let stuff like that slide off, especially when it comes to my Israelites, because you know, y'all know me. I'm, I'm a nationalist myself. I love, I just love Israel. But I know every now and then you got to choke a bug out of Israel neck, you know. So you know, so you know, can't get a spiritual smack up every now and then. So you, keep, you know, cats keep, keep poking. Keep poking at a lion, Joe. I'm telling you, you, you know, you know, I'm gonna have to humble you a little bit. You know, I've been humble before, and I'm telling you, it's you rather take it the nice way, you know. So, uh, yeah, what up, why? I see you peeking in here, Joe. Oh man, that's my personal train over there. Hey, you done did a bad job, why? I ain't seen you in a long time, Mr. O'Neill. Long time. I didn't fell off, Joe. I'm right looking like Snoop Dogg, for real. Straight up, man. You know, I had a, hosp a hospital visit uh, last summer, man. I lost so much weight, Joe. I was looking at myself in that, um, the promo for the uh, Hebrews to Negroes Part 2. Y'all know the Ron Dalton movie. Shout out to my brother Ron Dalton and all the Hebrews that was in there. You know, so many people went ahead and had like a nasty cast in it, Joe, from throughout the Israelite community. That's what, even Busy Bone was in there. I think Busy Bone part right before mine. But I was looking at the trailer, right? And I think it's it's it's, it's available, about to be available on Amazon. And uh, well, he told me, he sent me the information. You know, you could purchase it or rent it or whatever. But um, yeah, man, I was on that joint looking shriveled up. So I've been hitting them miles, Joe, even in the cold. I'm talking about it's 30 degrees outside, Joe. And I never used to, when I was young, I would have never did nothing like this. But now I understand, Joe. Are you hitting them, them, them laps, the miles in the cold? You actually stop feeling it, like your body heat up. I was to the point I had to unzip my hoodie, but it feel good. So yeah, man, I can't be looking like Snoop Dogg and that wife beater on a uh, baby boy this summer, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting and got my health back. I got to get back straight. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean, I was looking at myself in that trailer. I'm like, damn, <laughs> I look like I'm about to blow away, like. I hope bro don't cough. Man, all cough, cough, cough or something. I'm just going to be flying over that gate. But, uh, yeah, you know, we all have our, I had my little trial and tribulation, man. You know what I'm saying? But got rid of all that. I do mean all of it, too. So, you know, it's all good now. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Yaramaya, why you always got to be the one to come with some type of contention? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody said nothing wrong about no brother being young, getting the word out. I said running a congregation. Did, didn't all y'all hear me clearly? 
Everybody in the chat, see, this is why it's the Sabbath. I'm gonna keep myself peaceful. This is what I mean about the Moses Israel. You got certain brothers and sisters that literally jump into conversational posts just to be seen with contention. Now, everybody on here don't come from the same school of thought I do. You got brothers from one west, sisters from one west, probably on here watching right now. Why ain't there one of them saying nothing? But this Jake right here supposed to came up with me in the world before we was even in the truth and came up in the truth, you know what I'm saying, from the same camp that I come from. And don't be around here saying I taught you nothing. You know, I don't even want that. Don't even put that on me because you you just always act like a chaos agent. Uh, straight up. You need to stop doing that. Uh, Y'all admire Yehuda Yisrael. I love you, brother, but stop doing it. Because if you would have just listened to what I said, I clearly stated starting congregations and camps. You jump on here talking about a brother spreading the word to you. You don't know how to, like, apples and oranges are? Like, for real? On that note, uh, yeah, because that just itched my butt. I want to keep it, you know, real holy feeling on the Sabbath. See, this is why I'm about to start coming out with some swords, Joe, because you got to clean house of Israel. We got to get rid of all the goof troops. So uh, I hope everybody have a good, peaceful Sabbath. I love y'all. Grace and peace. All praise to the Most High Elohim, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the name of his son, Jesus Christ, I'm Mashiach. Peace.